Scientists announced that they found a piece of amber from 38 million years ago that contained two termites, and those termites are caught in the act. Welcome back to Paleopedia, and termites have been around for a very long time. The oldest unambiguous termite fossils date back to the early Cretaceous period, but it's likely that they originated somewhere in the Jurassic or even the Triassic period. And throughout their entire evolutionary history, termites are pretty much unchanged. There's of course species variation and all that stuff, but for the most part, termites have always been ground-dwelling insects that live in colonies, build mounds, and just go about doing their thing. It's my opinion that termites are a great example of they found a lifestyle that works for them, so they don't really need to change it, even across hundreds of millions of years. And this new fossil, which was described a couple weeks ago, kind of shows that idea that when something works, it doesn't need to be changed. So this piece of fossilized amber dates back to around 38 million years ago and shows a pair of termites in the act of mating. Termites mate using a process called tandem running, where one individual grabs onto the abdomen of another and they just kind of walk with each other so they can mate and start a colony. There was a little bit of confusion surrounding the fossil when it was initially unearthed because the insects are positioned kind of side by side to each other with the female holding onto the male. Now that's confusing because in modern termites today, if a mating pair die, they're usually just lined front to back to each other, not side by side like the fossil. So the question was, does this species of termite, which is Electrotermis affinis, mate a little bit differently than their modern counterparts, or was this something else going on? To answer that question, a team of researchers performed a micro CT scan of the fossil to determine the species and sex of the individuals. Again, the species was Electrotermis affinis, and the female was holding on to the male. Then, in an attempt to recreate the fossil, the team had live mating pairs of Formosan subterranean termites walk across a sticky surface that simulated tree resin, which is where amber comes from. Now, most of the lab termites ended up escaping the trap, but the ones that did get stuck showed an interesting behavior. The individual termite leading the tandem would naturally slow down in an attempt to get unstuck, and its partner wouldn't let go. Maybe it just wasn't sensing the incoming danger, or it was just determined to mate with its partner. The second termite, whatever the case, would not let go and would generally walk around its mate while still holding onto its abdomen, eventually getting stuck in a side-by-side -side position similar to the fossil that's kicked off this whole study. These findings suggest that even 38 million years ago, termites were mating the exact same way that their modern counterparts are doing now. Now, while to people like you or me, this might not seem like a huge discovery, but finding fossils that are actively depicting behavior of extinct species is unbelievably rare. It's basically the unicorn for fossils and paleontology, which is why it is so important when they're found and studied in depth. And for the team that conducted this study, this shows how important it is that different scientific fields work together, even if they may not seem related to each other on the surface. And this kind of a study is exactly why I love paleontology, because it gives us these little snapshots, no matter how how rare of a snapshot it is into what was like so many millions of years ago.